Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this tutorial, we will be creating a particle logo, and this is what we'll be creating. So you'll need trap code particular to follow along with this video, um, but let's go ahead and get started with this thing. So to get started, let's create a composition by going to new composition, and we'll call this one main. And 20 by 1080 is good, 24 frames per second, and 10 seconds is excellent. So click OK. And then let's go ahead and import our logo. And let's drop this thing right into there. And let's go ahead and pre-compose this by going up to layer, pre-compose. And we'll call this layer logo and leave attributes in main is just fine. And we'll go ahead and pre-compose this layer again. And we can call this logo reveal. And leave again is great. So here we are. So let's go ahead and open up this composition. So we are in the logo reveal comp. And what we'll do is we'll go to the rectangle mask and we will create like a mask just like this. And let's go ahead and move to, I don't know, uh, maybe five seconds. And we will open up mask one, bring up the properties and we'll click the stopwatch for mask path. And then we'll go to maybe like two seconds and go to the selection tool and grab this mask and slide it all the way across just like this. And then what we'll do is we'll increase the feather just by a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. And we have this little animation. And then what we'll do now is we'll go back to the main comp and we will bring in our logo layer just like that. So before I do anything else, let's create, go ahead and create a background for this to make this a little bit better. So what I'll do is I'll go to layer, new, solid, and we'll call this one background, click OK, and we'll go to effect, generate, gradient, ramp. And let's give us a quick little background. We'll go to linear ramp and we'll change it to uh, radial ramp. And we will make this maybe a, I don't know, a purple. I don't really know what I want to do. And I'll go back to a little bit pink since it's kind of like my, my brand. And then we'll change this one to black. And then we'll go ahead and drag the top point down a little bit. Actually, no, we'll keep that where it's at. We'll drag the black down uh, just by a little bit. There we go. And change the color a little bit. I'm not a big fan of that color. Not 100% sure why I chose pink to be part of my brand, but I'm trying to rebrand it to black and white. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue to do this. So let's go ahead and bring that background layer underneath here. So let's go to logo and go to effect and transition linear wipe. And let's go to we're at five seconds. And let's click the stopwatch for transition completion and change this to negative 90. And let's jack this all the way up to 100%, go to two seconds and puts down to zero. So now we have this reveal right here like this. All right, and then let's go ahead and drag this logo layer underneath the logo reveal layer. Let's go ahead and make the logo reveal layer 3D. Let's go ahead and create a new layer and call this one particular. And okay. And then we'll go up to effect, trap code, particular. Okay. And then under emitter, we'll go to emitter type and set it to layer and then go to layer emitter and go to layer and make sure to select logo reveal. And now let's go to layer sampling and particle birth time. And now the particles will be in the form of our logo. And of course, only a few particles. So we'll go up to particles per second and let's put that to like, you know, put like some crazy number in there, number in there like 300,000. As the logo reveals, the particle comes on. And now let's go ahead and increase the velocity by a little bit, by just a little bit. And then let's go ahead and we're done in this window. <clears throat> then let's go to a particle. Let's put this down to probably like somewhere near one life per second. And then let's bring down the sphere feather, pull away to 100. And then let's bring the size down to like two or something like that, maybe three. It's up to you and that's all good. Let's go to physics and let's put the gravity up to, you know, negative, bring up to the negative value. So like negative 400, it's about good. Then let's go to air and let's uh, play around with the wind settings and make this, you know, you kind of play around with the stuff that gives you a whole different sort of uh, feel to the uh, graphic here. Um, and then let's go to the turbulence field and let's go ahead and raise up the effect position by a little bit. 
And then I also like to play with the effect size just by a little bit. And that'll kind of make some variations in the particle. Maybe, uh, maybe 15. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, and then, and then let's put the fade in time to maybe 0.1. And that looks pretty good. And then let's go to the uh, rendering and go to motion blur. And let's go ahead and change where it says uh, motion blur to on. So the motion blur is a little bit too much for me. So let's go to shutter angle and let's put that down to like maybe like 140. And that will help kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then we're done with this effect. So now that we're done with this particle effect, let's go ahead and unlock this light layer and select it and select it all the way down to local layer and let's pre-compose this into its own comp. And we'll call this uh, particle animate. And then click enter. Okay. So let's go ahead and right click this layer, go to time, time reverse layer. And now we'll go ahead and reverse this layer. Now let's go ahead and figure out where this comes on. And let's, comes on say right here. And let's drag this in point in. And let's drag this to the beginning. And now we have our logo that comes in completely just like that. So we're basically done with this, uh, but to show you how easily you can change this, and since this is basically set up like a template now, we can go to the uh, logo reveal layer and then click on logo. And if we want, we can change the scale of our logo. So we can bring it down a little bit and it, the effect will still work exactly how it was uh, set up before. Uh, we can even go into this uh, back into the logo layer and we can hide our logo and we can even turn this into text now. So uh, we can e you know, use uh, text for this uh, effect now. So you can turn uh, text into um, uh, particles. So that's pretty cool. And it's really simple to do it. And you know, you don't have to reset this up every time now. So whatever you need to turn into particles, you can just bring it right into this uh, composition. Um, and it's instantly done. Of course, maybe you wanna make a few tweaks. Uh, to the how the particles reveal in but so overall this effect is really cool if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please drop a like it helps me out tremendously and if you haven't already please consider subscribing and also please check out my uh, social links in the description below i post a lot of cool behind the scenes filmmaking photos um, and a lot of more awesome content just like this so guys thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you soon